Hey guys, Carlos Graves from Droid Dog here, and I'm going to be reviewing the new uh, ROM by Eugene373. That's the XDA name. It is a 2.0.1 Eclair uh, ROM. It has camera drivers now, so now on your G1s and my Touch 3Gs, your camera will work. Uh, unlike the other uh, Eclair ROMs that didn't have camera drivers that people were kind of mad about. Um, I will say right now it is a little bit slow, um, but it is usable. I've been using it almost all day uh, with no problems at all. Uh, so it is not too slow, and, like so you can't use it, but if you're coming from Super D, which I did, you're going to notice it become a little slow. And yes, it's a lot slower than Super D. Yes, it's a lot slower than Cyanogen, but that doesn't mean it's any better or any worse. So let's get right into this. Alright, so let's kick this off. Uh, starting with the lock screen, it has the 2.0 Eclair lock screen with the sound on, sound off, well I guess that was the opposite, and then the unlock. I always just keep mine on vibrate, just because there's no real reason actually. Like I said, it's a little chuggy, but it is not bad at all, like, it is totally usable. And actually, because it's so fast, I'll show you that, in fact, this is uh, 2.0. You can see right there. I do have this overclocked to 528, as you can see right there. I have it set on minimum and maximum using overclock widget. Um, it's my preferred overclock application. Notifications, fast as they usually are. Um, cool thing about the messaging app, I'll show you, I just got a text message, um, is when you go up to the very top, you will see their picture if you have uh, a contact picture set from them. If you click that, a whole bunch of options come up. Um, you can call them, you can see their contact info, um, you can text message them, which you're already in a text message, so I don't know why. You can uh, email them, you can send them an IM using Nebo, which I have installed, and you can go directly to their Facebook page. Uh, it scrolls. Just so, and you press that again if you want that to go away. It only has three screens. No five, no seven, just three. You can't modify that at all. There's no more tab there. Uh, let's show you the wallpapers that come with it. You get three options. I'm not really sure why you get three options, but these are the three options you get. You get media gallery, pictures, and wallpaper gallery. Media gallery and pictures take you to the exact same place to your SD card pictures. Um, and then wallpaper gallery obviously takes you to um, the wallpapers. So let me show you what we have. It's a little slow to load sometimes. I'll show you on here. We've got that, we've got that is a uh, click wallpaper. We've just got a bunch of new wallpapers. They're not anything new to Android, they're just new to the G1. Let me show you that the camera works. Uh, right here, uh, this is I guess a little app shout out. I have FX camera, which is the camera app I use. Um, it should pop up in a second. And basically you can choose from a bunch of different stuff. Toy camera, Polaroid, fisheye, uh, just a bunch of cool stuff. You can go to normal just to go to the normal camera, but you can see here that it does in fact work. You can see there. Okay, so that's my first force close I've gotten on this, so don't think that's just a... Like a thing I get all the time, that's just a random... Random, random. Um, it does take a while to boot. It has the Nexus 1 booting animation, which is the all the colors. Uh, I'm colorblind, so I don't know really how many colors there are, but I'm pretty sure there's a couple colors. Uh, that formed the X for Nexus. Um, Google Chat works, as you can see there. Hope you don't mind, I'm showing your uh, 
thing, your name. Um, it comes with uh, all the stock stuff, comes with car home, which is really cool. Um, it comes with a couple stuff I don't know what it is, like corporate directory. I'm pretty sure that's for uh, if you're using Outlook for your email, that'll sync up your contacts with that. As Doc Runner, I'm not sure what that is. Um, what else? It has the Google navigation already installed. It has Phone Portal, which has a Motorola uh, logo on it, which I'm also not entirely sure. Um, and it comes with wired and wireless tether. Uh, so I had a question from somebody of how to get that. Um, here's another option, flash this ROM. Uh, it does support landscape. Not the quickest in the world, but you know, it works. Uh, it does have auto rotation. I don't have that set. Sorry, I just kicked the camera. I don't have that set just because I don't, it just kind of gets annoying for me because I, I don't know, I don't really like move my phone around a lot like that. Extended battery, I'm going to do a review on that, don't worry. Um, let's show you, I don't have uh, Google Chat opened right now, so it just came in. I haven't opened it yet, it just automatically signed me on. So let's see how long it takes to go in there. Okay, so that's not bad at all. It says you there, and I will show you that in fact it does send. Recording a video. Say hey. And let's see if I get a response. Um, car home runs perfectly. Uh, let's say voice search. Let's try it. Navigate to Union Square. Navigate to Union Square. There we go. And as you see, I have a notification. That's nothing you can see. So he says, hey. Kind of. There we go. Um, so that is just kind of a mini review. If you want to see anything more about this ROM, go ahead and ask in the comments on either YouTube or droigdog.com. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and ask me any questions you want on there. And I will see you guys next time.